Hey guys, so this is my food journal where I'm going to be documenting all my weight gain journey from now on. You can do this for weight loss, weight gain, it doesn't matter. But I got this on Amazon. If you guys want a link, you can definitely ask and I'll leave one below. It's really, really good. If you don't want to use apps and stuff like that, you can definitely go ahead and choose something like this. Already started to put some details in here what I want to achieve and my goals and stuff like that and yeah I'm just gonna keep you guys updated I haven't been using it much but um yeah I've got the shopping list at the back for you guys to see all right so you guys can go ahead and screenshot anything you want if you want to so the shopping list for weight gain this is just some ideas to put down in this book because everything can't fit in this book I've got multiple journals that I've got with different ideas but because I've got my ebook coming out I also want to add that some of these stuff in my ebook so I don't want to put too much in this book because I already got a good idea of what I need to gain weight or some foods that I need so this is just some ideas you guys can take from my own journal and make it your own okay so sorry if it's a bit shaky I'm trying to make it um still for you guys to see all right so first off we're gonna keep it focused we got peanut butter oatmeal eggs you know you can do anything with these you can buy any nut butter it doesn't matter it doesn't have to be peanut butter whatever you'd like because not everybody likes peanuts some people are allergic to peanuts so it could be almond butter cashew butter but this is a definite must-have you need oatmeal because you can make multiple things with oatmeal overnight oats is a good one granola you can make um one of my favorite things is I can't remember the name of it right now i'll try and put <laughs> if i can remember i will put the name of it but yeah it's like these little square things it's similar to granola hmm but oats is very good even making cookies with oatmeal all right so we have eggs you can do your eggs any way you like them but low fat um is always better if you don't want to fry them it's always good to boil scramble make an omelet anything like that bread any kind of bread it's good to add carbs in your weight gain journey don't be scared of carbs we have avocado, cassava, yams, planting, any ground provisions like that. If you're from the Caribbean, you know what I'm talking about with these here. But cassava and avocado is very good. High fat. Okay, healthy fats. You need that when you're on the weight gain journey. You don't need empty calories, which I'm going to talk about down below. So we have chicken. Chicken breast is good. Um, chicken thighs. You can even eat legs. Anything like that poultry is always good to have if you eat meat that it's not compulsory compulsory if you don't eat meat i'm trying to say all right so we have lean steak or mince you could also um use lean minced chicken i was meant to say mince pork but yeah whichever you like minced pork or chicken or minced turkey is always good and um, we have milk any kind of milk you like we have rice basmati or brown rice is good very very yummy <laughs> as you guys i like to put little things there i love rice okay and um, you can make any type of rice mix you can make fried rice you can just jazz it up go along with it you know work work your magic in the kitchen all right we have potatoes you can do potatoes anywhere you can make even jacket potatoes is good loaded potatoes is even better you know the more you add the more calories you get seafood if you like seafood it's always good to just eat the ones that's full of good healthy fats so salmon is good you could eat prawns and shrimp is all right but you can eat like even cod is all right um any kind of seafood okay any seafood that you like go ahead and eat that up and salads always very good essential same as fruits and water essentials those are all essentials when you are gaining weight okay and you know that bananas certain things like that certain fruits like that is very very high in calorie spinach is good for you as well broccoli cauliflower anything like that you can add them in your salads protein shakes ensure stuff like ensure protein shakes you can go ahead and make your own or you can buy the powdered ones they have 
so many different types of sorry about that my ooh, my light just went off there's so many types hope you guys can see now yes there's so many types of protein shakes out there you can buy right now so go ahead you can check out amazon i really like my serious mass that's my favorite and we have nuts seeds and legumes which is like cashews and peanuts you know quinoa barley stuff like that you can go ahead sunflower seeds hemp seeds beautiful love it you can add those in salads you can add them in your protein shakes pasta and noodles if you love some noodles ramen noodles any type of noodles go ahead keep snacking all right but make sure you don't eat too much make sure you eat them whole whole grain and whole meal all right if you can't eat them like white pasta or stuff like that it's not really good for you but it does help you to gain weight and cheese can be added to a lot of your food cheese helps if you like cheese and there's also vegan cheese so if you don't like normal cheese or milk you can try vegan cheese and there's also high calorie smoothies which i'll be putting in my ebook you can also get those into your diet to help you gain weight maca powder there's many different types go ahead and find out which one's best for you on your weight gain journey maca powder is very very good but be careful as well because it can also make you very fertile <laughs> okay it happened to me so i'm just letting you guys know and cereal if you love cereal go ahead and snack on your favorite cereals the thing i can say about weight gain and being on a weight gain journey is to eat what you love guys so if you love cereals go ahead buy your favorite cereals but just don't binge too much on one thing all right but just like eat what you like and eat what you love and on special occasion these are the empty calories i was talking about you can have these sometimes not all the time but takeaways eating out is you know you need to save some money and buy the foods to cook at home which you know is going to help you because you know what you're putting in your diet you know what you want to eat you know where it's coming from and with what's going on in the world right now you know who's cooking your food and that is going to be healthy for you so limit the takeaways okay that's going to help you to eat healthier on your weight gain journey ice cream you, you might like ice cream like i do cakes and stuff like that you know ice creams on special occasions cakes special occasions fried foods like fries um fried potatoes you know things like that fried chickens ooh, fried shrimps we can go on with the fried foods so limit those limit the burgers limit the pizzas the fizzy drinks Limit the alcohol, the wine, the, anything that's going to cause bloated. So all the food that can cause bloatedness, you need to kind of limit while you're on the weight gain journey. If you do not want to get a tummy while you're on this weight gain journey, I've learned this before, so I'm just sharing that quick tip with you guys. All right, so limit the sugar, like sweet, sweet foods and anything that's going to make you bloat. Stuff like also like cabbages and certain beans can cause bloatedness. So be careful when you eat certain things. That can cause bloatedness so know your body and know what works for your body that's one of the main tips I can tell you guys when you go ahead and do your shopping know what works for you and even though I can give you little tips and advice what works for me you need to find out what works for you okay so go ahead and yeah I hope this helps somebody out there you can screenshot that if you want Hope that's a good little view for you guys yeah and if you want the ebook make sure you like comment below if you want me to put that up for you guys so you can get it straight away it should be ready by the end of July and yeah it's gonna be very affordable I'm just gonna get it for 11 pounds so I'm in the UK so 11 pounds should be alright for all the stuff I'm going to be sharing in this first book for you guys. But this quick shopping list should be very, very helpful for you guys right now. And yeah, she help you on your weight gain journey. There's lots more to share with you guys. So if you want to see more, make sure you stick around and subscribe to my channel. Or even comment below and let me know what you want to see. Alright guys, let's jump right into how I'm looking, okay? <laughs> so... I am ready to start back on my weight gain journey because my baby is 10 months old now. I just had my um, fourth child. So this is what I'm looking like now. I've been working out lots of you guys. 
you guys see me working out on my channel and I've been eating here and there but I'm still breastfeeding so I'm still fluctuating on my weight gain journey right now so I'm trying to just get a bit thicker you know um, so this is what I'm looking like I tried to be modest today by not showing too much so if you're wondering why I'm wearing <laughs> this right now um, but yeah this is what I'm looking like right now not too much going on that I wanna like I don't wanna gain too too much weight um, but yeah I just want to get back some of the, the shape that I had before you guys know I gained a lot of weight I went to 160 pounds I think I'm about 140 right now I'm not too sure I mostly measure myself but I know my waist is really really good right now it's really really snatched and I'm really happy with the waist I just need to get the, the, the mass I had around the hair and hair in this area I was much more curvier so I want to get back that extra fatness and thickness that I had um, because that's why I mostly gain weight and I do gain weight in my arms and stuff like that but I'm not really worried because I do get I do get muscular if I want to um, but I'm not really lifting too much right now I'm mostly focusing on my lower part of my body and um, yeah eating all the healthy fats that I need so if you guys are interested in seeing my progress on my journey you know keep watching keep subscribing and yeah let me know what else you want to see let me know what videos you like stuff like that um but I mostly do right now I'm mostly doing a lot of um what I'm eating now and again but I mostly do fitness videos and also you can follow me on my Instagram where I work out quite a lot but in my stories I like to do what I cook and eat throughout the day so you can follow me on there I'm a busy mom of four guys and I'm 36 so I'm trying to help you guys out with the stuff that's helped me throughout my journeys along the way and throughout the years so yeah let me know if this helps you guys let me know if you want to see more of this video and I'll see you guys very very soon bye guys